Hi, Mum and Dad. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. They don't watch my YouTube videos. <laughs> so, well, anyone who does, hello. Um, made a YouTube video for quite a while. So, um, and I'm making one now because I think we've got some, you know, new things happening. And I'd like to, you know, for my own sake as well, just get sort of a video diary of of um, what's going on. So it's October the 14th, 2013. I'm Stephen Hartley and this is in the Banbury, UK. And um, yeah, it um, it's looking to me like things are really hotting up. Though, I'll just say straight away, my feeling is that, you know, 2014 is going to be the year that everything happens. So, when I was predicting, well, thinking as, along with a lot of other people around May 2013, because of the farsight.org project, that predicted tsunamis and everything and that was saying June the 1st 2013 um, but there were other things going on at the time this guy had a prophetic dream and he said May he's end of May June but not a year and so you know that one was very striking I think so I just wanted to get that out of the way. <clears throat> but, you know, I think we're really seeing now things kicking into gear. And um, my feeling, <coughs> I'll just quickly say, um, when I was reading the Bible, and there's a few sections of the Bible that talk about the end. But there was this one, and I I think it was Old Testament towards the end it may have been Jeremiah I can't remember and someone was asking God you know when would what would be the sign that the end was near and I think this was all it's speaking about that statue with the clay feet and the bronze legs and the silver body and the golden head when that was gonna get taken down and you know the 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 mountain of the Lord was going to plonk itself down upon it and rule for good from then. So, you know, they're talking about what what is the sign before that happens. And, and God said, I will send Elijah. Now, I think Elijah has been mentioned in the Bible before, but I'm pretty certain that was, if you like, preceded this part of the Bible <laughs> Sorry for not being able to quote numbers and everything. I'm only human. Um, send Elijah. Now I think, therefore, I've always thought, in, when I read that, I always thought Elijah was going to be a, a comet or something. Or a planet, you know. Because I kind of felt that, even from then, that Bible referring to things that were coming from another world... And, you know, could could have meant it absolutely literally, i.e. in a second solar system, our, so, our solar system in a binary system with another one, maybe a dark star because that can't be seen so well, and therefore the planets wouldn't have reflected light on them, they'd just be maybe in a cloud of mist that we could easily miss, possibly. So, we're still on the old Nibiru thing, but Ison is that preceding comet. And someone else thinks this as well, Higher Truth Channel, they have also said this. Um, so yeah, that's that's that one. Um, I'm also going to, you know, I fancy talking about some of the other YouTubers because I watch a lot of YouTube. I mean, my daily thing is to look at my subscribe, who I'm subscribed to, and, and watch their videos, as I'm sure many people do. It's 
Better be recording. <laughs> and um, you know, the one I just watched now was the Groxed. Groxed one, and he's done a um, just done a video on uh, Kazakhstan, a place called Astana, which he calls Astania. Um, and it's amazing, this city must have been made for his videos. I mean, the, all the lines and everything that they've drawn in. And the, this is in the city, in the palace, looking down from Google Earth. And you can see how everything is laid out. And yeah, there's definitely messages there you cannot deny. It. It's absolutely plain to see. Now, Grox Dwan, if you haven't seen him, Basically, this is the premise that he's working from, <clears throat> and that is between God and man and everything, the whole planet is kind of telling us what's going on. And if you like, it has to be God involved because some of the things are from the shape of the continents and 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 the seas and everything like that and it, the pictures there and it you know Groxed one has depicted them and made them into meanings if you like and um, but then also within cities where the roads and everything like that and parks and things you know actually you can a lot of the time make out pictures some are better than others. Um, and the Grox one, you know, he's got, you know, some amazing insights. He, he's looked back at sort of ancient um, Egyptian thingies and Sumerian tablets and things. <coughs> and he's showing, you know, he's looking for the same sort of symbols within cities and things like that. And he's finding them and, you know, some are better than others. And sometimes I can see something else. And make a comment about it um, it's quite amazing but this place in Kazakhstan is well you know blimey you know this is this is mostly man-made I mean it's clearly clearly man-made and man intended now what that makes me think from things I've said before about beast has been run in this <coughs> world as we know it, the society, is that structure, this hierarchical Babylon system that we live in. I said before, the devil is, you know, basically running all this. Um, and it seems to me this place in Kazakhstan is is almost like a, a shrine to a, sh a shrine to that. I mean, it's almost. What it made me think is that, okay, all the world elite, who are like servants of the devil, um, you know, are know something's coming, and they've prepared a place, perhaps Kazakhstan entirely, is going to be the, the elites, um, and hiding, or place to be while the you know all the shit hits the fan everywhere else so they've got the, in this their main palace and they've done all this scripture and shit because the devil's told them that they need to that's what I think and you know maybe I don't know but I think yeah that was just the point I wanted to make about Kazakhstan and that city being particularly obvious, you know, how much it is and why would the world elite do that? There's, for some reason they feel like they have to. But, yeah, very strange. Kazakhstan, you'd think of it as a very poor country. But they've shown before, you know, they've got some amazing, really expensive schools there. And, you know, you look at it from above, you can see how clean and you know modern buildings and nice looking it is it looks very very nice so 
yeah, that's that. And you know what what's going on right now is of course the um, food stamps in America in 17 states have stopped working after one state had had an issue where <clears throat> people's food stamp cards suddenly had unlimited uh, <laughs> unlimited balance <coughs> and people just <clears throat> emptied completely emptied these shops because suddenly they had unlimited balance that was the glitch so then in order to fix the glitch they shut down 17 stations 17 states so then people are like leaving trolleys in the checkouts so they're not allowed to leave with it they have to go without <clears throat> excuse me and I don't imagine that's going to take if they that carries on for too many days. That's going to start causing some chaos. People are going to be left no choice, are they? So you know the government are trying to piss the Americans off big time, or you know is this really the beginning of America's collapse, which has been predicted? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, which has been predicted, and then apparently the nukes will fly in, but I don't see the connection with that yet. Um, what else? What else is going on? I'm having a lot of rain in England at the moment. It seems to be raining everywhere at the moment. So we had this quite w warm spell in late summer dry yeah, that, that you know I'm not sure if it was worldwide but I know as soon as it started raining here it, someone mentioned in America it's raining and I know like they got a lot of rain and stuff in the far east and New Zealand so it does seem to be raining everywhere at the moment so this is all the water coming down so I guess um, if this continues be uh, looking out for the flooding, more flooding. But you know, and again, that's you know that was something predicted by Cliff High, um, and we would get rivers of rain. So you know, there has been a lot of water in the atmosphere. We've known that. I mean, there has been a lot of water in the atmosphere, and it's coming down now. So we'll see how um, see how that goes. But you know. All those predictions that made us think that it was May June 2013, and Cliff Iron, he's saying he's saying before, the only reason he's saying it's 2013 is for the Farsight.org, so that must have been a, a a mistake, or you know, they did come out quite shocking. You know, that guy was like, "Well, we have to warn people," you know, really, really convinced. You know, did they just get the year wrong, or was it just fake? Again, a false warning, just like December the 21st, 2012. But most of us didn't really go for that anyway. So perhaps the June 2013 one was a more another thing to trip us all up, and then next time when we say, oh, no one's going to believe us, right? Um, yeah, so Cliff, I, you know, things that he was saying coming up to that time, you know, were, are still continuing, you know, we are having more and more earthquakes, you could even describe it as the world is shaking, the volcanoes are really going for it, <clears throat> um, there are it's not quite one a day sometimes it isn't two a day but you get a period of one a day and then stops for a period you know probably about the period is probably about six seven days so maybe you get six seven days of volcanoes six seven days without and again six seven days with um, 
So I think on average over the past month or so I've been watching, it's probably been one every two days, volcanic eruption. Which, you know, I seem to remember from childhood science classes from saying that volcanoes were, you know, a thing of the past mainly. There's a few active ones that blow off every few years. So what we get in the moment is is considerable and again no one's doing a horizon program on all the things that are going on that's what I guess in a sense I'm trying to do in this video in a very unentertaining way <laughs> but you can just listen can't you if you want um, you know because it's only when you see everything collectively that uh, that you start to see the big picture. So there now I'll talk about the sun because it's not just on this earth, you know. So you could be saying at this point, I mean, I used to be in the Green Party. I left because I got hijacked by the old Labour, and it's become a socialist thing. They're not talking about the environment exactly at the time they should be. But saying that, I would be saying this is all climate change. Thinking it's just and it probably part of it is you know the weather and stuff but I don't think it is all climate change I mean one thing I've noticed this that it has been warm in the last few years and climate change may well have been invented because they knew this stuff was coming and they wanted a way to explain the strange weather events Oh, in fact, I'll just slip this in. I was watching an old James Dean, James Dean film, um, Rebel Without a Cause, and quite near the beginning, all the students at his new school, they all go into this planetarium, and the guy's doing a talk, and it starts off, and the star got brighter and brighter and brighter, and then blah blah, blah you know, then going into all calamitous sort of things, and talking about the end of the world. And a few, oh, they said some few sort of, few sort of facts in there as well, like real specific things, right? but not too much, just a few. But there was about this star getting brighter and brighter and brighter. Yeah, right now I completely forgot what I was going to talk about. I was talking about the sun. I think I started on something else. Anyway, so the sun, yeah, has been active as well. Shucks, don't you hate when that happens? It's cannabis. Naughty. You know, might as well live it out. Live it. you got to live, haven't you? It's one of my pleasures. I don't drink, so... For people who have a glass of wine in the evening, you know, I have a cannabis joint. <laughs> but I'm really cutting down on my smoking. Uh, tobacco definitely is an evil weed. It's an evil weed. Maybe it's good for digestion, but if I could just have a fag after after a meal, perhaps that would be the best thing. That's what I should do. Perhaps. But I'm down to about six, seven a day. Sometimes I can. Sometimes may only be five. So that's. I think that's quite good. <clears throat> So Sun was active, how did I jump into that James Dean film? What made me think of that? It's a good film though. And Giant, thanks to old um, <clears throat> Thor News. Okay, I like Thor News, it's cool. I like catching up on what's going on with space for listening to him. I love his style, that humour. I can't, I can't, it's not me. So I can't do it. I'm more <laughs> well, whatever. Um, I mean, Darbu. He's, uh, you know, like all the news events he comes out with. You know, sometimes what puts me off with some YouTubers is even if they haven't really got anything to say, they keep pumping out a video because they need to keep pumping out videos. And. Um, you know, the thing is, if you watch a few boring ones, 
then you know you're less tempted to watch the next one so I tend to look at the titles and if if it's not a new sort of title then then I probably won't bother listening to it sometimes sometimes not or I might listen to two minutes and then go off um but yeah I mean like positive things I uh, I mean the last few months I've definitely been spreading my positive vibes when I'm walking riding my bike driving my car um I suppose mainly walking though trying to spread that light of God and everything and it it feels good it really does and smiling at people and you know even if they don't smile back n know that you know that that it is going to brighten their day a bit and um, there's one guy <laughs> but if someone doesn't look at you you walk past I think when you're walking down an area which isn't busy at all where there's very few people and um, you know I think then it's more polite to make eye contact because you know no one else is around you know you should sort of make eye contact and yeah I mean when you're walking down the street you can't make eye contact with everyone and obviously in London they just everyone ignores everyone I hate that yeah I walk past this guy and you know, I was going like trying to smile at him and he, he, you know just looking all, he just look it wouldn't not even a flash of eyesight there was you know it's like from a long way off, he obviously decided he wasn't going to look at me. Oh, fair enough, my beard was longer and my hair was out. So, <laughs> you know, but I walked past and I just, I just thought, you ignorant son of a bitch. And I just turned around and I said, um, I said, would you just smile or something? Just What's the matter? No, I was, I was like, what's the matter with you? Can't you smile? And he looked round and was like, you know, disgust. <laughs> but he didn't. I thought, you know, I was going to give him the opportunity to come over and say what you want about or something. But he went on, so I also went on. You know, and I suppose that wasn't very nice of me. But, you know, it was my sort of incredulous shock at what had occurred. But no... You know, and I noticed there's a few walks that I do when I drop my son off at Beavers. Well, I, I leave the car there and I walk to the shop and get some shopping in. It's a convenient time to do it. So I'm seeing a few regulars, you know, and yeah, and then, you know, one time the guy didn't smile, but then the next week he did. So it was a bit of a reluctant one. And so to see him again, maybe maybe he'll be more relaxed in smiling. Uh, if you ever been to Africa, it's so different. Okay. You the way you walk around is so different. You walk around like you're enjoying life, <laughs> like like you're enjoying walking. You know, just like. And it's, it's not just, don't think, just think that's the tourists. That is the pace of life. <clears throat> and the, not everyone's like that. But the majority are. And the majority rule. And so then you're there on holiday. And you just sort of start to sort of notice that. And then you're doing it yourself. And oh, it's just so nice. It's impossible to come back to England and transgrade that in because you know, because the majority are walking everywhere fast. You have to then do that too, and part, partly probably because it's cold, and that's the way to keep warm. I mean that's fair enough when it's not <laughs> when it's not warm. I mean in the summer people do slow down. That is true. It's very weather. Anyway, a bit bit off the point then, but I think it's a bit more enjoyable. It's more easier to enjoy walking around when you're doing it slowly and when it's warm. <laughs> we could just wear more warmer clothes and walk slowly. Yeah, that's it. 
but yeah, definitely spreading the love. It's it's, it's been been really good. Um, been really enjoying that. And also when I'm um, not smoking so much, definitely improves my singing. <clears throat> I mean, I did have a fag quite soon before I made this video. <coughs> but I think <coughs> it's um, coming clearer now. So why don't I play a song? <laughs> Let's stand back for this. Um, I've learnt this song in the last couple of weeks. I'm really liking it. Thanks to Ben Time Traveller, yeah, I listened to him too. Uh. There was a secret chord David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do you? Goes like this, the fourth, the fifth
enjoyed that. Um, final words. Let's just watch God's plan unfold. Thank you. Bye.